let's let's kind of paint a picture. You're in iRacing, racing a set of Corsa. Usually on the North Slide, you start. I would pan over this way. The most dangerous track in the world, just like the game itself. So I feel like I'm in a video game right now. So to make this feel as real as it is, yeah, it's it it doesn't even feel real. The Nurburgring, also known as Green Hell. It's a 13 mile track, probably the most proven place for the world's fastest cars and to test some of the best engineers around the world. But today, Driven Dynamics isn't here to test a car. We're here to test a belief that our simulator can prepare you to drive on any track in the world, even one of the most difficult. Driven Dynamics isn't just a simulator company. We're an engineering and R&D firm focused on understanding how humans experience motion. Our goal with the DDX Prime isn't to just look cool, it's to recreate what the body actually feels when driving. After thousands of laps on the simulator, we wanted to see if that translated to the real world on a track we've never driven. It's real now. You're gonna make this look real graceful in post, right? Oh yeah. I've driven thousands of laps on our DDX Prime, um, preparing myself for the Nurburgring. I guess that really looks like it's really understanding uh, cornering, braking, how the elevation is changing, loading up the car. You know, the track is so narrow and so technical, and the pavement is technically really never the same. So by understanding a lot of those characteristics and what our simulator actually does, really gave me an advantage of driving on what is now the most technical, dangerous track in the whole world and preparing me for that. Wild. Crazy? Yeah. That's the power of high fidelity motion simulation. The goal isn't to build a better sim racer, the goal is to build muscle memory that translates into the real world so that when you get out on the track, it feels comfortable, it feels natural, it feels like you've been there before. On track day, every detail mattered. So to measure everything that you feel in the car on the track, we developed the Dynamics Vest here. It's a prototype. It has 17 pressure sensors for the different locations on your body where mm -hmm. you could feel seat belts, yep. the side bolsters, bumps from the road, things like that. And it has other sensors too for measuring you know, physiological elements such as heart rate, um, you know, temperature. Um, and so on. But it also measures what the car is doing. So we measure, you know, at the same time what we're measuring on your body, we're measuring uh, vibrations through the chassis, the pitch roll, yaw rate of the vehicle, and tying that in with, say, the steering inputs on the vehicle, the pedal inputs, how hard you're fighting the steering wheel uh, through the power assist system. So the goal is to see does the data that we collect on the track line up with the data that we get from the telemetry in the physics simulation of the game, as well as from the sensors that we have on our motion platform in the various prototypes that we're building in-house? So for us, what we found going out on track at the Nurburgring and having this effect of like, oh my god, I feel like I've been here before, was just the best validation possible for us. Like, we started this company out, the goal was to build the most immersive, realistic sim we possibly can. And what better validation than to go out there, a place we've never driven before, and then come off and say, it feels like I've been here before. It feels like I've been driving this place already. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So really, this is just the beginning. Every time we go out to the track, every time we have another professional driver in, every time we build another prototype here, we're getting closer to our goal of just building the most immersive simulator where reality and simulation are, not, and we'll never get there, indistinguishable, but we're getting closer every time. All right, 
right, so we finish up the day here at the Number Green Norschlag. Man, what an experience. Dang. I mean, I would say it's a dream for us to do this. I mean, eight years of testing on this track on the sim, and now to actually be here in person. Yeah. And we collected real data that we'll be able to show and reproduce on our simulator. And I think I can't wait even for that part either. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, we're going to try and correlate what we've measured out here with what we've felt on the sim. But uh, just telling you from driving it, it feels just like what we felt on the sim. Thousand percent. I honestly will say our simulator gave me the confidence and the performance of my ability to push this car, even though I've never been on this track before. So I'm so excited to explain that to people. Yeah, and even me, I'm not a pro driver. I felt comfortable out there driving around in, it's basically a race car around mm -hmm. the green hell. Yeah. Just from all the sim time. Well, I would like to say that I, I think we're officially there. We are making and bringing the idea of r realism to the space of simulation. And I don't think we can't wait any longer to show the world what we're doing and how we're pushing forward and showing everyone it is possible because we don't like the word can't and we're going to continuously making cool ass shit. So for me and Alex, bye. See you later.